Hey everyone, my name's Casey. I am a blogger over at collectivelycasey.com. I cover all things about motherhood, DIY, um, Disneyland trips, and today I'm venturing into a new area and I'm going to upgrade the radio on my car. I recently bought this minivan and for whatever reason, even though it's a mid-level trim, it came with the base radio. And it's this little thing. The resolution is terrible. It just looks, I feel like it looks so, so bad in this car. And when I was exploring options on how to replace it, I found infotainment.com. They are a company that makes easy plug and play radio upgrades for all sorts of different cars. And they agreed to send me an upgrade for mine to show just how easy it is to do. Um, they boast that it's a plug and play method. They pre-program everything for you before they send it to you. And so I'm going to test their theory and see if I can upgrade my car radio with little to no experience. Okay, so I want to start by showing you what they gave me in the kit. Um, the first thing is this new bezel and screen. This is an 8.4 inch screen. I'm upgrading from a 5 inch screen, so this is going to be super noticeable. It's going to look great. Um, they also sent this module. It's pre-programmed with everything I need um, to just plug in the cords and go. This is a video cable and then these different colored cords coordinate with cords that are already in the car. They also sent over this custom harness. This is another just plug it in to both ends and it should work. And then this is like a power cable, I believe. They also send over um, this OBD Genie override, which helps your car accept the new system, I think. And then this anti-theft code, which was a big reason why I went with infotainment. They do all the hard work for you and just send it to you ready to go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is take out this old bezel system and this is just held in by retaining clips but you do have to pull pretty hard on it and it makes a really scary noise but it does not break so that's good okay now this old one the module is actually attached to the screen here and so there's just a bunch of cords happening in here that I need to unplug. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay. Just like that, the old system is out. Um, now on this new one, you can see the air vents are not already attached in here. So at the end, or before I, before I put everything back together, I will have to just unscrew these and they will fit into the new bezel. I'm going to put the new module in. Um, infotainment did send me a bracket, like a metal bracket that goes right here into the system. Um, they said it was an optional thing, so you can install it to make it look nice and built in, but it's not necessary for everything to work. We're going to start plugging things in. Um, so this harness needs to attach to the new one that they sent, which is this guy. And... So these two ends are going to go together. Okay. That was easy. That just plugged in. Okay. Put that over to the side. And then these three, there's a gray, a white, and a yellow, and they are going to plug into the coordinating colors on this module. Oh, there's white. Oh, you know what? First, first, let me plug this part in. Okay, I'm gonna plug in the other part of the harness into this module first. Now I'm going to do these color coordinated ones. So we'll do white, yellow, and then gray. Okay. Um, 
so this is the power grounding cord and I'm gonna need this and this video cable to extend out but all the other cords can just get tucked back in here you know what? in the YouTube videos they have them coming out the top and there are these two little slits there so I'm gonna do that instead of having them out the bottom all right, so I just removed these air vents from the old model and bezel, and you just do that with an Allen wrench. So this is completely done, put that down there, and they attach to the new bezel in the exact same way. Um, three holes in the exact same places, so I'm just gonna use the old hardware and mount them into the new bezel. Okay, I've got the air vents now into the new bezel and there are just two more things that need to be plugged in so this is the power grounding cord <laughs> and that goes just right here and then this is the video and it just goes right here okay now we're just going to kind of tuck all these cords back behind the module and then snap this into place Okay, let's turn it on and see if it works. <laughs> oh my gosh. What an upgrade. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. <laughs> I cannot believe that worked. I'm actually like very shocked. Like I believed that it was the plug and play, but now that I'm seeing it, just look at the difference. Oh my gosh, that is beautiful. Okay, and this particular module, I think I said, has built-in nav right there. It's got, oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Um, <laughs> it's got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Okay, I'm super excited to play with this. Um, oh my gosh, it's beautiful. It is so pretty. <gasps> um, the next thing, <laughs> I just want to play with it, but... So the next thing we have to do is this override um, Genie. And this is so the car accepts the new module and everything and it gets running smoothly. It comes with this anti-theft code. This is important too. So um, yeah, I'm going to work on this real quick and then I'll come back and show you guys the finished product. <gasps> oh my God. Do you guys see this? I did that. I did that. Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Okay, huge, huge shout out to Infotainment. They made this like the simplest process. If I just paid attention, um, this would have been done even faster. Their YouTube channel shows step-by-step -step instructions on how to do everything. Um, they send these little instructions if you need help. Um, I cannot believe that I went from this to that and I did that by myself with no experience. Guys, if I can do this, you can do it too. <laughs> Go check out infotainment. The link to shop all of their upgrades and models is in the description. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I'd be happy to help. Thanks.